So, Leos, I do feel like during this time, um, it's like some of you might be so focused on organizing something and being disciplined, very, being focused on the rearrangement of certain um, conditions in your life or structures that you feel are not being or have not been working to their optimal um, potential, or even yourself, like, wanting to be um, working, okay, to your full potential, to your maximum potential. So it's like you're really pushing yourselves to uh, the betterment of something in you that you feel like you can improve or something in your, in your life uh, that you're also seeing that uh, potential. Some of you are to kind of in a way, I feel like some of you are throwing things that you don't need out of your life. This could be literal, this could be, of course, um, a metaphor to energies and, you know, attachments you're, that you're also breaking free from. I just feel like there's a very, um, there's a very assertive, it's like assertive and determined determined uh, energy about Leos uh, during this time that it's going to help you move forward and make things kind of happen um, in a very fast you know to the point um, manner so it's a it's a it's a great week where you can find solutions for things that you have been having a hard time uh, perhaps solving it's like cracking here as well the code about something like um, I feel like some of you Leos have been uh, struggling with finding you know either the understanding or the answer or the way to something and, and it's like a light bulb moment for some of you during this period of time where you're going to be struck with the realization of oh this is what I need to do or this is what it means this is how I get there. And some of you, there's a lot of that sense of ambitious drive as well, motivating you. There's a lot of motivation. There's a lot of will. There's a lot of fire in you. I feel like the Aries energy is already kind of boosting some of you Leos to, you know, express that fire in, a, in an active pursuit of your happiness and, again, in the betterment of circumstances in your life. I feel like some of you have been separated from something or someone as well. And I feel like that has caused some of you some grief. I feel like there might be some, um, some isolation or some separation again with someone uh, that still, for some of you, it's still, it's still um, weighing on you a little bit. But for those that are dealing with that, um, I feel like <sighs> there's more to, to it to come in terms as well of what that situation uh, is really about. What will it turn out to be? It's like don't um, feel like it's all it's the, the way you are experiencing it or seeing it as for now it's all there is I, there's something here up until September so it could be that for some of you that are dealing with relationship drama or difficulties in general it can take up until September to solve it figure it out or just be free from that or it can be that you're dealing with something since last September that has uh cause some emotional pain, I feel, due to that separation or just that distance. Um, I, I keep getting a sense of, um, you know, it's like two people that are uh, apart and there's the wall, but both are like sitting down and crying even though they are, they have their back turned to each other. So there's a sense of mutual, um, you know, suffering through that separation or through that problem in a relationship it could be that even in the existing relationship some of you might feel like um, somehow there's there has been obstacles keeping you and your partner from fully you know um, being together trusting each other being intimate you know the way that you would like 
but aside of that, there's a sense of, of this can be a very fruitful week for some of you Leos that do desire to bring things to a point of to a point of um, yeah, fruition, but also a point of like to 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 be in this energy of uh, results. You want to see results, but in order to see results, it feels like you have to really get yourself together, your life, um, align your your mind, your heart, your soul with your body, and act. You know. Um, throughout that sense of alignment where everything is working together towards the same goal. Um, this alignment for some of you is really happening is really happening and has been, you know, kind of you have been working on this for a long time. For those of you that have been working on getting yourselves again aligned, energetically speaking, um, I do feel like you will feel if you're not, you're very close to reach that state of integration um, that allows us to be so much more at peace and so much productive indeed. There's a sense again of productiveness that some of you um, are really having when it comes to attaining your goals. So it's like something that has been hard to be free from. Perhaps you had, you had had a lot of responsibilities or workload or pressure and it's like now it's like you suddenly see how to put all of that into a system uh, that works in a way where things are more balanced and you don't feel so, again, uh, pushed down to an energy that just robs you from some sense of freedom. I do feel like some of you have not felt free. Um, it, perhaps this is what has caused some of you as well, your relationship drama or problems. It's like, I feel like some of you have not had the time to be there or to dedicate yourselves to your uh, partners due to other problems um, the way that you would like to. Perhaps you had a lot of problems or a lot of work, a lot of other things happening and you didn't it's kind of a, relationships were put on to second were not a priority and perhaps you had to you had to deal with the consequence coming from that um, and for those that are dealing with this um, you are making again an improvement of some sorts you're pushing yourselves to improve here and just by that, I feel like there's a lot of things that naturally will fall into place to you and you will be able to see if there are relationships to heal, if there are things to be worked through that can still be worked through between you and others that perhaps you have not been there for or where you have not been in your best behavior. Um, now, as things fall into place, I feel like you will see what's what and what really deserves or what doesn't that effort and that time. So I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and donating to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, if you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of March, I have a special tarot offer available at the sales price, which is called um, Soul Circle. And if you would like to know more details about that or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you could also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below.